Press FX presents the Indie Podcast with your host, T. Sterling Watson. Good morning, Indubians. I am T. Rella Sterling Watson of Wakandia. This is the Indu Podcast. Thank you for stopping by and pressing play. This is episode number 25. This is week 20, so you should have... $210 in the savings account if you're doing the 52-week savings challenge. Whew, that took a lot out of me. But hey, how's everybody doing today? Good? Great? Wonderful? Fantastic. I'm sorry I didn't give you any time to answer. Just out of breath. Trying to catch up. Give me a second. Whew. Inhale. Exhale. Repeat. Zen. Namaste. We're good. All right. So... I just want to uh, address the uh, the brilliance, the regalness, the absolute beauty and wonder and amazement that is Black Panther. All things Black Panther. And um, it's just amazing. I love it. I love how uh, like the black community, the black Twitter community, the blurred community, we are all just so excited. And I'm going to explain why, uh, why Black Panther so lit right now, and it's because it is it's the first time that we are getting a black superhero on screen, like his own film, not just a a, a side character or a sidekick or something like that. It's it's like it is the first African uh, superhero. I mean, he predates a whole bunch of other of the popular black heroes superheroes that we have. Um, it's just a big deal, it, and it's it's like this character is done right, and this is just based off of his appearance in Civil War, which I am now calling the Black Panther prequel film, and it's it's amazing. It's it's just amazing, and we can't wait. I say we can't wait because I'm pretty sure I can speak for all of the community that we are excited, and excited is an understatement, and even I am a bit uh, under stated in saying this um but yes we are we are here we are ready we are wakanda we are t'challa we are waiting for this we have been waiting for this this is i don't know i can't i can't even fully articulate all the feelings that i'm feeling just look up hashtag black panther so lit and you'll see how excited that we are about this film um, and it's not even just the film itself. It is it is the comics that, that we come from, uh, especially the new version from Mr. Coates. I'm calling him Mr. Coates because I keep stumbling over his name. I am so sorry. Um, the fact that it is getting later in the night and I keep forgetting to drink water. I have a hard time saying names. But then again, longtime listeners know that I do have a problem with names anyway. So there's that. But... um. Uh, the the new Black Panther is what I'm calling it because it just came out in 2016. It actually started, I think, about a, issue one, and we are now at issue two. And so far, the story is just great. I mean, I know right now he's just laying down the groundwork, but the art is amazing. The story is amazing. I have no problems whatsoever going back and reading it again. Um, I've also started to go back and read the early last um Series put a little thing in here saying that I am still kind of new to the comic book world. I'm still jumping in. Like I don't know. Like are they called volumes um, or or storylines or or what? But the previous uh, version of uh, Black Panther, I believe, started in 2005, uh, written by Reginald Hudlin. Um, I started reading that one. That one I'm thoroughly enjoying as well. So I mean, there's just so much history so much story uh so much character of uh t'challa and all of his uh his lineage and and his and his his reign as king um there's there's just so much so much and i am here for it i am going to read as much as i can and it's it's exciting i mean it's not just <laughs> i don't want to say it's not just a black thing it is but it's not just that it, it, they are really good stories and um I'm just excited, and I'm fully jumping on this fan bad bandwagon as a new, fan, um, but just as as a fan of of, of superheroes, and and it's it's great. 
uh, that we are represented. And that's that's really what it's all about. And that's like there's other hashtags and things going on right about now, like uh, hashtag starring John Cho and hashtag uh, whitewashed out. Um, and those are, are derived from the lack of, of uh, Asian characters that we see on the screen, or rather that we don't see on the screen. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that these things are changing. I, I have heard a couple reports here and there that, you know, some of these uh, decision makers are taking notice. And there's only one way to find out if they're actually, you know, true what they say. And we'll see that on screen, either on TV or in the films or whatever, whatever, where where they can be represented. And um, or we're just hoping that, that we see it. That's all. Because we definitely see it, or the lack thereof, and um, I mean, it's 2016. It's time to start showing that there are more than just uh, these uh, white faces that we see, and because that's that's really what it comes down to. Um, I wonder what the the Latin American crew have. Do they have a hashtag going on? Just curious. But um, Black Panther. That's that's <laughs> really what it is that I had kind of wanted to discuss a little bit, and. Um, a little fun fact about Black Panther. He, he, well, first of all, he came out in 1966, uh, debuted in a uh, Fantastic Four series or story, and um, yeah, he's been around ever since. And uh, during the 70s, I believe, during the height of the Black Panther Party movement, uh, he had changed his name to Black Leopard just so he wouldn't be associated with them not not necessarily associated with them but like confused i'm not sure if that was a choice that was made like in the story like he specifically changed his name so he wouldn't be like that or if it was the writers or marvel decided hey let's not be associated he's its own thing um which makes sense i mean i can understand it kind of want to differentiate um but however that does make me laugh a little bit of what my sister said as she was not a fan of his current wardrobe in Civil War. I know a lot of other people loved it. I'm a fan. I liked what he wore. I'm talking about his super suit, but my, my sister did not like it. She preferred to have, you know, a you know, leather jacket kind of thing um, to look like, you know, the Black Panthers at the Black Panther party kind of Black Panther. But I was trying to tell her, no, that's, that's, that's something different. He, he's got to have this, so it, it's easy for him to move and, and fight and do what he's got to do. But... I also try to explain that even in the some of the older comics, he actually has a cape. So I'm kind of glad he doesn't have a cape because capes are overrated. Y you know, um, have have we not seen The Incredibles? Maybe yes. Okay, wait, isn't the The Incredibles that does it? I don't. I think there are a few. I want to say it's The Incredibles. They they show what happened to people that have capes. So uh, yeah. Black Panther. Definitely, I definitely recommend checking out the comics, though, especially the new ones, even the old ones, but the new ones. It it has been, I guess, gone on record that this is the uh, the fastest or the highest grossing um, series. Like, I don't know. It, it's been making some kind of crazy records, and that's awesome. And again, kudos to Mr. Coates. And again, I apologize for not actually pronouncing your first name, only because I keep struggling with it and I don't want to keep doing that and butchering names if I don't have to. So I'm just going to give you uh, some respect and call you Mr. Coates. Is that okay? Please, please let it be okay. Um, but yeah, definitely. Black Panther so lit. And yes, it is. If I do not sound as excited as I should be, that's only because it's getting late in the night, but I'm excited and you know how I like to conserve my energy. So there is that. Definitely, definitely go check it out because... I'm, not, I'm talking about all the comics because the movie's coming out in 2018. So this should give you plenty of time to prepare. And plus those, and, and I mean, especially with the new comic that's just coming out now. So you, you've only got two issues. You, you're, you're good. So go back and read those. And then you'll be, you know, up to date when the new ones come out. And then when the movie comes out, you'll be like, hey, I know all about, you know, um, T'Challa and his fam and all that, what's going on in Wakanda. Um, and... You know what I want? I'm going to, um, you know what I want really though? I want those bracelets. If you've read at least the first one, you, you should know what I'm talking about. They got these because Wakanda is technologically advanced, like way beyond everything else. Um, Wakanda also has the, uh, the vibranium that cap shield is made out of. 
as well as among many other things. It's like a very, it's indestructible metal. And it's actually also what Black Panther's suit is made out of too. I'm not sure if I told my sister that little factoid to help her kind of come to the side of a reason that Black Panther's suit is awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, the bracelets. If you've seen the bracelets or under or know the history about them, I want them. I want, I want them. Yes, even if it doesn't do anything, I just want to wear it because I, I just want to represent Wakanda, man. Man, is that too much to ask? Huh, maybe it is. I don't know, but yes, please do yourself a favor get some Wakanda in your life <laughs> and it doesn't matter what color you are I, I just educate yourself and and do that hey y'all I'm Courtney Hinton of vervehousecollective.com Verve House Collective is all about creatives, entrepreneurs, and those who want to live an awesome life full of intention. Again, that site is vervehousecollective.com, and we'd love to see you. So for today's Black History Moment, um, I want to first talk about a show that you may or may not be watching. I don't think I've talked about it on the show yet, but um, maybe I have. I don't know. But the show Underground, which is absolutely amazing. It's on the WGN channel, which I was surprised I even had. And now it's like, hurry up, get to um, 1082, because that's the HD version of it. So it's just 82. Well, it's for us. I don't, I don't know who. I think it's a Sony channel. It doesn't matter. Underground is absolutely amazing, and it's on par with, uh, if I'm measuring excellence, especially in the past year, it's on par with uh, Mr. Robot, where there, every episode is excellent. It's, it's a must-see. Um, I have no complaints whatsoever. All the characters are great. Even the characters I don't like, they're well fleshed out, and it's like you almost miss them or at least you feel something if something happens to them and uh, I, honestly something happens to every character I mean what kind of show would it be if nothing happened um, then you'd probably be watching Seinfeld I don't know uh, actually that's a lie because a lot of things happen on that show moving on I digress um, Underground is absolutely amazing I can't stop talking about it uh, it's the, all the producers involved I just want to Quick shout out to John Legend because he was an executive producer. He also handpicked all the songs, I, I guess, that's featured. And it's a lot of contemporary music, so it's not like... Um, I didn't even tell you what the show's about. Oh, wow, goodness. So the show, it does deal with runaway slaves, uh, except... And even when I say that, um, it kind of turns some people off, like, especially, you know, my, my fellow black folk. They have a hard time watching, like slavery kind of shows and movies and hey I'm, I mean I'm, I'm in the same camp too I can only watch The Color Purple so many times uh, 12 Years a Slave once was enough for me I still haven't seen Roots only because I didn't have access to it even though at this point in time I do know that a remake is coming to the History Channel which I've already heard good things about so I'm, I'm gonna watch it because you know that's kind of what I do and uh, I'm all for black history so with all that said this isn't your typical kind of um, slave show, if you will, or slave story. Um, yes, it does deal with slaves, and um, there's a, you have to deal with, you know, the master and, and whatnot. And uh, I almost want to put it on par with uh, Django Unchained, in a, in a sense, but not really in the same way. It's, it's just a different kind of story, and I love the, the, their approach to it and the characters, and it, it's... It's just a really well-told story. And, um, yeah, it does deal with slavery, but at, at some points you don't even realize it because there's so much other drama. I'm not, okay, I misspoke. You do realize it. You do realize it, obviously. But, um, yeah, you, you there's so much more going on than that is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, yeah, it's it was a great first season. It I think it might have been, or may have been, could have been the first show to possibly kill a person from sheer stress of the drama that's uh, going on on, on screen uh, but it's great uh, and kudos to everyone involved I don't want to go off naming everyone but I do want to mention I do have a new 
favorite TV screen crush, and that is uh, Journey Smollett. I know she's been on other things before, but I haven't really seen those things. So she's on this show. I love her. She's a great actress. Um, Rosalie is a great, strong black character, black woman character. Just, I mean, she really comes to her own. You really see uh, her character develop throughout the, the 10 episodes from just the meek and quiet uh, house slave to the rebellion that that's within her and um, it's it's beautiful and uh, Aldous Hodge who I've first come to learn or get familiar with or, or love rather uh, from another f- show that I love which is uh, Leverage I believe those episodes are on Netflix I don't know but it's always on uh, Ion do you guys get that channel I think it's on Ion I don't know they show that show all the time now but it used to be on TNT great show uh that's they they called it uh oceans 11 for the tv because it's like a smaller group of people uh but yeah definitely definitely great um but yeah i wanted to say that because or i wanted to introduce underground to you which by the way can be season one can be found on amazon please please check it out it's well worth it i'm sure they'll probably do another uh re-airing of the episodes uh, especially when season two comes out next year i'm so excited i don't want to tell you anything about what might happen uh, but you have to see season one first we'll talk later but um they do actually have like real characters or real people um within the show one of which which i, ha- I had no idea this was a real person um was uh, William Still. Now, I'm going to read his, his, the paragraph of the, the Wikipedia, uh, but I found this, char- this person, this real-life person, to be very interesting. So I'm going to share that with you for today's Black History Fact, or this episode's Black History Fact. William Still was an African-American abolitionist in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, conductor of the Underground Railroad, writer, historian, and civil rights activist. He was the chairman of the Vigilance Committee of the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery so- Society. He directly aided fugitive slaves and kept records of their lives to help families reunite after slavery was abolished. After the American Civil War, he wrote an account of the underground system and the experiences of the refugee slaves entitled The Underground Railroad Records, published in in 1872. So that's just the first little paragraph of William Still. He is depicted by, um, I wrote his name down too. I'm going to say Charles Chalk, Chris Chalk. I'm sorry, it's Chris Chalk. He can also, Chris Chalk can also be found in um, 12 Years a Slave and as Lucius Fox in um, Gotham. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's an actor who, who was, uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen him around. I think he's, was he also in, um, I don't know. I don't have his IMDb page up right now, but he, he's been in, in a number of things. But, um, I really want to say he was in um, the newsroom, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, please, please check out Underground and also read a little bit more into William Still and his uh, contributions uh, of the Underground Railroad and keeping records of those uh, freed slaves. He is also called, I believe, the father of the Underground Railroad. So, you, um, yes, he is. And you can probably guess that he might possibly know the the other the the most famous conductor of the underground railroad uh the the one and only harriet tubman the Indu podcast all right now welcome back this is oh my goodness and we've got a special song sent from the underground cast Coming up next, we have Josiah Bell with Down, right here on WIDB 129.5.
Hey guys, this is Arielle and this is Deeds of Potluck Dinner Podcast. Check us out on Podbean at potluckdinner.podbean.com and iTunes. Search for us. All right. See you there. Bye. So now what you're about to hear is a great friend of mine, um, the lovely Miss Ebony B or Mrs. Ebony B. I'm sorry because uh, she recently got married, she's got a little daughter, and um, her and I, we've been friends for quite a few years now. Uh, we collaborated on a number of projects from a TV commercial for her shoe store that she used to own, and um, then just a, a series of different kind of mini documentaries, if you will. So uh, we, we worked together on, like I said, various projects, and then uh, like for the past year, we hadn't been working on anything so we just wanted to catch up and so that's I decided it's like hey why don't you come on my podcast since I've been trying to get you on this podcast ever since the lost dial but uh well we finally met and we finally got to chat a little bit now you get to hear it now I will say that she is online she has a, w a website um so you can check out some of her work you can book for a, a photo shoot you can google Ebony B Photography, and what will probably come up first is her Instagram page, uh, but you can also go to her website, which I will put a link in the descriptions, but it is ebonybphotos.wix, or W-I-X, dot com, slash Ebony B Photography, all, you know, one word. Uh, like I said, I can put the link in the description so you'll be able to find her. So please, go check her out, go get shot by Ebony B. And let's listen to this. <laughs> but yeah, well, you know, just talk like we normally do. You know, okay. Just like kind of catching up because we still haven't really like gone back to talk about all the projects that we've worked on before. Yeah. Um, the most recent one is the I'm a Queen, which mm -hmm. you see the pictures up. Yeah. yeah. And that whole um, thing, which still amazing to me. I like showing it off to people. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, it's something I worked on. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's because. Every time I come to hang out with you, you're, you're always such a great source of inspiration and Aww. motivation. And I'm like, all right, now I feel like I'm going to go out there <laughs> yeah. and do something now. And, I mean, and people are still talking about this project. I mean, a lot of people asking if I'm going to like do another show mm -hmm. for it again. So that's why I've been keeping the pictures around. I just did this the other day just to get inspired again, just start looking at them and see like, what can I do over or how can I take it to you know, the next level. So you're going to do maybe like a sequel to this one? I don't know. That's what I, I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe a sequel or maybe something with like littler kids. Hmm. You know? Okay. I don't know. Kind of like that idea. With the kids, right? Mm. Which would kind of lead me into, which I wanted to ask you before I even hit record. But oh. <laughs> did you, did you happen to watch Lemonade? I haven't. I started, but I don't have, what, an hour to sit down and, like, mm -hmm. literally watch it between my daughter and trying to cook dinner and mm -hmm. responding to emails. is like, all right, 
I'm going to try this again. So mm-hmm. this is like the third time I try to watch it and only got be- like the first 10 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I mean, I started watching the first 10 minutes and I couldn't stop. Through really? I, I I guess life. When life really hits you, it's just like, oh, you don't I have I guess it. so. Because <laughs> you, you are like the perfect person I would want to talk to about it. Okay. Because uh, it, it is for strong mm. black women. That's that's what I see in like the beginning. I'm like, wow. Even like the images with the... Uh, the black girls like sitting on the porch, Mm -hmm. that part, I was like, oh my God, that's like an image that I could like recreate. And you have to wait until like 45 minutes to get to that, that scene. So you, you have to sit down, you have to schedule an hour (laughs) and sit sit down down and watch watch it. it. (laughs) And then we'll come back and discuss it. Okay. All right. I, I, I can't, talk about it on my podcast i'm a guy yeah <laughs> i mean i can talk about it from an artistic point of view but I'm yeah like, i can only say so much because this is for black women it's not oh. for me but as an artist i enjoyed it yeah i, I loved mean, it it actually made me somewhat of a beyonce fan really from that wow. to the music to mm-hmm. it was i mean it that hour changed really? my life <laughs> i motivated you yes. to I, have I, a different aspect uh, yeah i, I do it, it really <laughs> did have a profound effect because they they made the announcement i'm like okay i'll watch it i'll check it out yeah and i'm like wow that was an hour of pure that was that was really black excellence wow yeah i have to i have to watch it because i was also thinking about like um doing a vintage shoot similar to like obviously you know relating it to like the strength of black women Mm. i don't know how far back i want to go but is that something you're still kind of toying around? Yeah. About? So there's a lot of stuff going on in this mind that <laughs> just has to like come out. Mm. And then between like doing maternity pictures, family pictures and stuff like that, it's like holding me back a little bit creatively. But, you know, the bills got to get paid. So. This is true. <laughs> but this is also something I admire about you because you work very hard. Yeah. Um, you have- a day job then you have this photography business which seems to be flourishing yeah um yeah. you're at i believe this is your third location now no nope, the, well the store, the store <laughs> yeah this would be the third well yeah it's just crazy how i did start in a shoe boutique and mm-hmm. then i mean um, that it's that in itself was something was like oh wow she started she has her own store and that was our first collaboration <laughs> yeah I made a TV commercial for you um and i was just admired by that like mm-hmm. wow that's that's great and then it's like no you know i think photography is the more the thing that you really enjoy doing more of. yeah so. it's my passion like when people say you know you have to go with your passion it's true it's mm. true it really doesn't feel like work it's like i don't know how to explain it it's just a feeling like no other i don't know like i love it just- yeah i'm always at my happiest it's it's my calm it's my calmness is where mm. where i get i don't know the joy, I suppose. Yeah, 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 it's true, it's mm. true. And the the plus about it is we get to make money while oh, doing yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what the ideal, I guess, dream would be yeah. to be doing something that you love doing and oh, you just happen to get paid for it. Too. Yeah. It doesn't feel like work. Not at all, not at all. So what is keeping you from having that be the full-time thing? Um, I guess stability, like knowing that 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 job is there, knowing that that paycheck is going to be there every other week, Mm. like photography, honestly, it has been stable. Like I it's it's steady money, but Mm -hmm. you know how life goes. Yeah. You know, you you know, God has a way of testing, Mm. (laughs) testing you. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but not that I'm quizzing you, but. What would what would it take? What, what kind of sign are you looking for? It's like okay, this is is there anything? Or I don't even know. For? I don't even know if is, there's a sign. I think the way my life has been working is just it's stopping. Like mm-hmm. something dramatic happened at I don't know what to say it. Yeah. <laughs> something dramatically <laughs> happens there where I'm no longer there, mm-hmm. or if it's just I mean. If God, Something happens. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if that's what God has planned, I'm just going with the flow. Okay. Right now, you know, I, I just how I look at it is, I say I would, I praise Him in the doorway until another door open. So that's what I'm doing now. Hmm. So I know that Verizon is not my where it ends. Mm-hmm. It's just the middle point right now. Mm. Okay. 
And where would you like to go? Or what was Well, the thing is I really want to do editorial like type of photography. Okay. Um so that's that's the plan, that's where I'm gearing towards. Um but honestly I, I really like being more specific to African American women as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's kinda hard because you know, like editorial, you know, they have mostly the white women and things like that, but I want to take it up another notch. I want it to be like more African American women and strong women and things like that. Maybe you'll be that that trailblazer that yeah that breaks down that door. So yeah, that's the goal. Hmm. That's the goal. So I did a shoot uh, like a few weeks back um, that was more editorial. I pushed myself creatively. I made um, like a wall, a silver and black wall. And I had a, um, a African American model with stripes to contrast with it, so it was really good. I mean, a lot of people really liked it. They understood it, and they seen where I went with it creatively. So mm, nice. It took a while for me to even push myself to do it. Like I pushed the shoot back probably about four or five times. Mm. I don't Is it know. because of life? Life and me probably being afraid to step outside of like my comfort zone. I think I've been so much more on like the maternity, the pictures, the family, like quick, easy. Mm. All right, time to go. <laughs> this like really pushed me. I had to actually make a wall. I had to actually really think about how I wanted the model to look, mm -hmm. how I wanted her to pose. And finishing that shoot made me realize this is why I do photography. This is what I actually enjoy. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I just, it's like you're creating. You know. Yeah, and I don't know how I got from that. Like, where where did I get lost? Like, or just got comfortable? And yeah. Just, I think, well, you like you said, you got into a flow, and then you just like, okay, I'm just gonna stay in this flow. Yeah, yeah. And until it gets a little complacent, like something needs to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and that's the same thing that happened with the shoe store. I was there. I'm like, this is not, not right. working. <laughs> this is not. I'm tired of sitting here <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the next customer to come in. It's not mm. pushing me at all. Mm. And that's that's how it really got me into photography. So you have ideas. It's just you are not like executing them or you just... You I don't just... think so much executing them because I know once I start the idea, I will execute it. It's okay. just basically giving me giving myself that push mm. to, to actually start it. Because mm -hmm. once I start it, it's always completed. It's just getting it started. Mm. Or actually finding the right people to work with. Like, mm. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not a makeup artist. So I have to collab collaborate with, like, those type of people. But you know what you want to see. So yeah. Kind of direct it towards them, and they take care of it. Exactly. And then you're able to bring your, right. your vision to, uh, well, I was going to say to life, but by you're taking a picture of the life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, yeah. though. So, yeah, so possibly queens, too, or princesses, I don't know. Yeah, but... probably, probably, possibly. Hmm. I don't know, something. So how, how is life, though? You have a, I want to say it's a daughter? Oh, you don't know if she's a daughter? Oh, well, yeah, it's a daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a daughter. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking straight at it. Yeah. Yes, it is a daughter. And I don't know even why I question it, because I know. <laughs> Is it a daughter? Yes, it's a daughter. Yeah, I have a daughter. Mommy life is great. Um, I don't know. It made me realize that life is so much more worth it. Mm. Like, it made me realize what I'm doing is has a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's not just for me. And and that's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever. I also, you know, being married, too. I mean. Oh, yeah, it's not for Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. Mm -hmm. Nah. But yeah, being married too, it also, it just puts more meaning to your life mm -hmm. and it makes you, you know, want to work harder, makes you want to be the best possible person you can possibly be. Um, but yeah, Jules, she's, she's, a, she's a handful. She's walking now. Mm -hmm. She's talking. Her new thing is no. <laughs> I've, I've seemed to see that a lot with children so yeah yes. so that's her new thing um she loves taking pictures too so that was gonna be my next question yeah she <laughs> likes to take pictures or well actually be she's my little model, model. she's yeah. my little muse mm. so even with her um you know i've been looking up different ideas to to work her in my creative um ideas so look out for that 
I'm gonna have to create another wall, but <laughs> I'll be I'll be watching. I'll try to be a little more attentive. I today was actually the first day I've been to your Instagram page in a while because oh. I haven't even been using Instagram or looking at it other uh -huh. than maybe to promote the show or something. Yeah. But I'm like, oh wow, and I saw the the black and white. I'm like, mm. I have to come back and look at this. Yeah. This, visually, it was capturing me. Like, what's going on here? I need to look at this. Yeah. But really, I was just looking for the address here. So <laughs> like, I got to come back to this in a second, and I'm supposed to be on the way, but. Yeah, and so it, it, I think it was already doing its job oh, just okay. by scrolling through, and it, it caught my eye. I Good. saw so many babies. I wasn't sure which one was Jewel yeah. or not. I was like, well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure she's taking, I was going to say dozens, but that's probably too low of a number. Um, <laughs> so many photographs of her. So, yeah. But I, that's all I saw, and a lot of, um, again, a lot of the maternity shoots and the yeah. shoots that you, you do, which always look great. They, oh, they thank you. Just lovely work, and like, Gotta, I gotta book another, you know. Something. Yeah, we gotta get you. Now I'm so much better. I mean, the first time I shot you was that was awesome too. Okay, I'm so well, much better than that now. Yeah, like okay, when I look at those pictures, shoot, so. yeah, I look. I'm like, oh my god, I came a long way. And I have props too. Oh, okay. So I got a I got a top hat. I, I need to show yeah. off. Yeah, so. we could do it. We could do it. Just and season like two is almost coming up for my my podcast, so, so I'll have to do new pictures for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we could definitely work that in. All right, well. That, that's and, uh, cool. I mean, because you're creative yourself. I mean, your whole, like, you inspire me with the whole, like, the famine video and things like that. Um, like, you're, what you do is just amazing and how you can just make one shot and just transition it into totally different things, which is really cool. Plus, I just like using your camera. But oh. <laughs> and thank you for that. But it's, again, it's, it's I guess the feeling is mutual because I, what you broad you're bringing these people and their stories that they have to tell mm -hmm. and i'm like okay this is good and i like stories yeah so that's kind of something i live for to mm -hmm. just take people's stories and maybe incorporate them in something yeah. i might create yeah or just tell their story yeah um that's actually another podcast i'm working on um, okay uh this woman who is sharing basically her life story mm -hmm. we only got a half an hour in she had to stop because like she was starting to cry oh wow it was, there was a lot going on mm. um but yeah, I don't know how long that's going to go. But yeah. I'm, I'm, See, I love stuff like that. I mean, if someone can just tell their story, even if they don't feel like they're making a change in the, their lives themselves, mm -hmm. like just hearing the story can just impact someone in a major way. And that's what she wants. Yeah. She wants people to know what her story is. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully to make a better choice. Yeah. Because she's made some choices that she's not proud of. But that's the whole point. She yeah. wants people to, you know, do better. That's good. Based on her life. That's that's really good. I mean, even if I can even try to create something like that through photography, that that's one of my main goals is to, you know, inspire women to mm. to feel more in love with themselves. Mm. Because the honestly, they won't be able to go anywhere, do anything or love anyone else until, you know, they love themselves. And mm. and that's one of the reasons why I did the project, you know, I'm a queen. Um because it took me a long time also to realize, you know, this relationship is not going to work because how, how is it going to work if I don't love myself? If mm. I'm not happy with myself, it's not going to work with anybody else. And there's still a lot of women who feel that way. Yeah. Black women. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll leave it to women in general, but yeah. 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 So I don't know. That's another reason why I love photography is especially the people that I get, like the clients, you know, they tell me them their stories mm -hmm. and it's very inspiring. Also, like when they see the, their pictures and they're like, oh my God, is that me? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. That means, all right, Ebony, you did your job. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing I, I really enjoy about it. Because, so. yeah, some people, they, from what I see, they look like they might have a story to tell, even though, again, the ones that I looked at like, on Instagram, they're just mm -hmm. like a maternity issues. Like, mm -hmm. oh, they're having a baby. Yeah. Uh, it's a quick Stay, story. Yeah. But, but I know that, you know, everybody has a story. Yeah. They, they've lived a life. Mm -hmm. So, which does bring back to mind an idea you had, I was going to say, and I kind of do it by error, but this was in your your last place that you're in uh -huh. telling me how you wanted to um, shoot older people. Yeah. And by yeah. shooting, I do mean photography. Yeah. Some people are like, what? You're going to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> What's well, just took a drastic turn, but yes, because yeah. you, um, uh, it still just resonated with me. You just enjoy the wrinkles. Yes, you know, oh, like I was at my grandmother's house today. I was just looking at her, like you're you're just beautiful. Like her wrinkles, her gray hair, like the the curves in her hand is mm. just like 
like you you're you're amazing like your your wrinkles tell your life story you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. so like that's that's Especially another by thing the eyes, like the crow, you've yeah. seen things or, you know, yeah those. you've seen so much and just talking to her you know it's just i mean she remembers everything she's 85 and she remembers when she was like eight nine mm -hmm. she tells me those stories so yeah and those are things i would love to capture just mm -hmm. like what's going what what was happening at that time like yeah. what did you do? oh she'll talk to you if you want to talk to you, <laughs> she will talk to you to the sky turns green mm -hmm. but i tell you about her life story but that's that's another thing it's just me just trying to get everything together mm. it's just trying to put everything in one box and just you know take the papers out I'm like okay i want to do this i want to do that let's get it done I don't know. Maybe that might be a system that might work. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But then, then you pull one out. I was like, I don't really want to do that one. Maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll see if the next one is. But I did get a journal, though. I did get a journal. I, I like every week I write down like weekly goals that mm. I want to achieve. So one of the goals was make sure I do this fashion shoot. And I okay. did that. Um, even like money wise, like, you know, I don't want to spend this amount of money, save this amount of money, things like that. So that has been working. Um, so. Hopefully, if I keep doing that, I end up doing, you know, getting all my vision mm -hmm. out there. I've been working so hard. Having gone back to listen to the conversation that Ebony and I had, I realized that we ended up going into a direction and talking shop, which didn't seem as compelling for this particular podcast episode. So I'm fast forwarding ahead and we're going to pick it up from there and by all means ebony will definitely be back on the show hold out and wait for that because that's that's soon to come so now back to our conversation so how long it takes me to edit is really not that long yeah like when it comes to audio stuff so yeah that's the same thing with me with pictures i mean even like the whole thing with working like now before i used to be so angry like going into work like mm. god why am i here why <laughs> do you have me here i have so much more to do you told like you know you promised me that mm -hmm. you know i'm going to be this business owner i'm going to you know be this be that and i don't know something just clicked and made me realize like you know everything is a process you know mm. you have to like be still basically and just let 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 God do his thing. Stop mm -hmm. trying to rush it. There's there's steps to everything. And when I realize that, I'm so much more happier. Honestly, when I go to work, it's like I have a positive mind, positive attitude because it's like I'm so content now. Like mm -hmm. cuz I know this is this I don't know. I don't even it's just amazing like how everything is just coming together. It's really like I really have no worries right now good, good i mean it's it's just a good feeling like every day i wake up i'm like wow like i'm not the richest person i'm not the you know i don't have everything that i want but i have everything that i need and it's like really mm. really working really good i feel like you're one of the few people that i can that i know and then mm -hmm. i see like in pictures like okay her life is going well <laughs> Because sometimes that happens if you go on Facebook, they look like they're having a great life, but if you yeah. get to know them, like, oh, things aren't good. <laughs> but you, you're the exception. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can't, I can't complain. Like, even now, like, we're in the process of buying a house mm. and we got that approved for it <laughs> and we're going through the process and it's like, I know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's no reason for me to stress, no reason for me to get all overwhelmed, like, I already got the confirmation it's happening like we already got the people to approve it we went to see the house so we're all we're just doing the paperwork right now yeah. so okay. early congratulations thank you thank you so i mean everything is just coming together it's just amazing That's i don't great. know how to explain it but it's good, it's good. well so for i guess <laughs> for the uh try, trying to just words of encouragement to, I guess, I don't want to say people or just black women, but no, just everyone. Everyone. Um, words of encouragement. As if they they didn't get enough already. Just. I will say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you always do this to me. You always have that one question that has me like. Ah, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I would say. I mean, if if you are passionate about something do it don't let anything hold you back um don't let money hold you back don't let the words of other people hold you back just do it i mean 
if you have faith, you know, just just have the strongest faith ever because everything is going to happen. You just have to be patient. I mean, that's that's basically what it is. Being patient, being still, you know, putting it all in God's hand, like let him do all the work. and You just you just go on with your daily life and let him do all the work and you'll be good. That's it. <laughs> Hello, Indubians. I'm Laura, host of Louder Vision, the podcast for visionaries, artists, and creatives. On my podcast, I'm interviewing fellow artists trying to figure out how we can bring our creative vision to life without compromising our values, crushing our soul, and dying poor. Yep, that explains it. You can listen to the Louder Vision podcast on lauramioli.com and connect with me on Twitter at Louder Vision. Well, that wraps up yet another episode of the Indu podcast. Thank you so much for listening. And please remember to tell your friends about the show. There's so many ways you can check us out. Uh, currently, I am on Spreaker. Sometimes that updates late and sometimes old episodes get erased because of account issues. I don't know. But I'm on Spreaker. I'm on Stitcher, I'm on iTunes, and of course, podbean.com. So please tell your friends, uh, tell your enemies, tell your family, tell your husbands and wives, you can even tell little children. It's mostly appropriate. I don't know if they'll, they'll get it, but whatever. You know, tell them anyway. Tell your dog, too. And by the way, I'm so proud of my dog. He learned how to close the door. Yes. I'm just excited. But yes, please, tell your friends. And uh, thank you so much for listening, and uh, please, you know, get at me let, let me know what you think how, how do you feel do you have do you have questions do you want something to be researched some really weird thing that you want me to talk about just let me know and you know hit up my twitter at i-n-d-o-o-b and uh yeah hope to hear from you guys soon but you know keep listening for the next episode and i'll see you next time but remember if the world didn't suck we'd all fall off planet earth and is an extension of the indu blog found at indu.com you can subscribe and find more episodes on itunes and indu.podbean.com you can also follow master sterling on twitter at indu i am not allowed this is Belford signing off and this has been another 3sfx production Use your words, Chief. Good boy.